Okay, so there's most of the motor from our jet ski and uh, this video is about getting the jet unit out of the jet ski. Uh, while we're at it, there's our solar panels there that are going to go onto the uh, boat to power it. Uh, that is our one kilowatt motor there. Bit of a go-kart there that's nothing to do with anything. That's another um, electric powered project coming up. At the moment, we're trying to get this drive coupling off of the shaft um, and I would say it's never been removed in its life. Probably uh, lock tied it on. And um, these drive couplings actually are threaded and screw on. So if your motor is spinning clockwise, that coupling will do up clockwise and it should come undone anti clockwise. So we don't have an oxy kit, but we've got a nice uh, powerful heat gun here. taking it off because the bearings inside our ratchet and we also have to take it off to get the jet unit to slide out the back having a wall there so uh, we'll give it a few minutes more and see how we go with the old heat gun trick so as you can see we've been successful the old heat gun trick worked quite well a couple of taps and uh, that was unspinning by hand so fantastic uh, we'll rip that bearing housing apart and unbolt it from the bulkhead and uh, then we'll continue on underneath. I noticed it has been glued in quite well from factory so this is going to take a bit of getting out but hopefully we should be able to do it. Okay so we've got that bearing housing off from inside the jet ski. Um, bearings are definitely knackered on that. Surprisingly enough, once I took the uh, strainer and the um, belly plate off from under the jet and undone the four main bolts here, our jet unit fell straight out, which I'm very happy about. So um, the hole in here we need to make in the boat is looking very sophisticated with steps and bumps and shit all over the place so we're going to cheat the jet ski's knackered so what we're going to do is just cut this whole section out of the jet ski and glass it straight into the bottom of the boat and that way our jet unit will bolt straight back in so it's going to be a bit of a mission because we have to keep this bulkhead here as well where the uh, bearing go, the bearing and the housing goes on the front. So it looks like we'll be cutting down on that side of the rib and across, uh, leaving a couple of inches on there to glass to the bottom of the boat. And as you can see inside, it's all in a uh, sealed box, the jet unit. So um, all of that's going to end up in the boat as well. All right, so. We just need to buy a couple of bearings so far for our jet unit. Uh, the coupler we can use again, of course. And uh, looks like there's been a bit of a fire in this at one stage. Wouldn't be surprised. Um, so yeah, our biggest job now is cutting the bottom of the uh, jet ski out. Uh, we'll then make a template of our cutout in the jet ski and do the same with the boat and make it an inch smaller all the way around so that will actually sit up against the cut on the boat um, and then we can glass it all in now this is a mold injected fiber plastic but um, if it's prepared correctly glass will stick to it no problem at all all right uh, that's probably going to be it for this video we'll try and make them fairly short our jet unit is out, um, the bearing in the jet unit itself is Mickey Mouse, so we're not going to bother pulling that apart, and uh, it's basically ready to go back into the boat, 
and of course having that drive coupling the other end is still on the motor there um, we can take that one off as well not sure how them ones are fitted on we'll have a look and we'll nut it out and we can machine up a part and an adapter so we can bolt this onto our electric motor over there but uh, once we get that off the rest of this is going back in the scrap pile I doubt very much people over here would need any parts for one of these old girls for what they're worth they normally get thrown out like this one but uh, we're going to make use of it alright thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video um, when we have cut that bit out of the jet ski that we need and we'll be fiberglassing it into the boat this means we have to turn the boat upside down alright Cheers, guys.